I finally have one. The new Porsche 911 or 992 Carrera 4S. This is owned by a very good friend of mine. He bought it very recently, last month in fact. And I've been waiting to get my hands on one since it's come out of course, but at the moment there wasn't a press car available in Switzerland. But luckily I had a friend who bought one and he's also bought it in a very unique spec. And now it's really grown on me. When he first told me about it, I wasn't too sure but it is extremely nice and very unique. So the color of this is Aventurine Green. This is the first one in that color in Switzerland. This is also the first 992 in Switzerland. So at the moment it's getting a lot of looks because obviously it's a brand new car and it's actually the first one not only that I've driven but that I've also seen around Switzerland. At some points the color does look a little bit grayish. It is a very light soft green but hugely nice. So as I said, the way he's spec'd his car is relatively nice to say the least. The total cost of this exact one in this spec is around, I think, $166,000. For some reason, I've got the price in dollars, so I don't know what there is elsewhere. So on the topic of the spec, let me now show you all around a bit, talking over some of the options my friend has gone for, and also talking about everything that I've liked and disliked so far, be it from driving or visual. So let's start with what is possibly all of our favorite part of this car, and that is the back. Well, I say favorite part, for some people that actually really didn't like the back too much, but honestly, I love it. To start off with, I love these single strip rear lights. I think they look brilliant and make for super cool pictures. Again, this is all gonna be personal taste. There was also, of course, a lot of people that would disagree with me. Now, this is obviously a big talking subject, the rear brake light. A lot of people have compared the rear brake light on the 992 to looking like bacon strips. And yeah, I do kind of see what they mean but I honestly don't mind it. And it's one of those things you just get used to. And the rear brake light or bacon strips, whatever you want to call it, adds up to 11 for, of course, the 911. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, making the obsession with 911. He's also opted for just the 911 badge on the back, which is exactly what I would do as well. I think that looks super cool. We have the sports exhaust. I do really like these. I do like the look of them. And yes, they are fake. So maybe you can see inside, which I don't think you can really, but these are, well, I don't know what you want to call them. They're not exactly fake. I mean, they are real, but they're just not connected directly onto the exhaust. It doesn't bother me. They do look great and yeah, they do their job at the end. And going around to the wheels, we have the RS Spider design wheels, which I'm loving the look of. This will set you back an extra two and a half thousand for these wheels. Moving around to the side, we've got the sports design side skirts, which have been, of course, matched to the color of the car. I think otherwise they would come in black. Also got the sports design front bumper with a bit of an extra lip here as well. I think it looks fantastic. Got the Matrix headlights, which are incredible. Went for a drive last night and they are just so impressive. It's also got some chrome parts, which are optional extras, like around the window here, which I have to say is not for me at all. I'm not a chrome fan whatsoever, but each to their own. <laughs> So yes, welcome inside this brand new 992 Carrera 4S in this truffle brown interior. Now I didn't realize brown is such a thing. After the picture I posted about the interior on Instagram, people went crazy for it. And I was never really that into brown, but this truffle brown is extremely nice, I must say. Got 450 PS, which is a lot of power, and that's Porsche 450 
PS, which means it's really that, if not a bit more. So I'm gonna stop quickly, left foot flat on the brake, smash down the accelerator. And off the brake, oh, Jesus Christ. That is quick. Had to come off the power then, sadly, otherwise, uh, yeah, it would be probably doing double the speed limit in no time whatsoever. But that is savage. You just can't beat Porsche launch controls. They are so good and you can do them all day long. But before I start talking about what I've loved about this car, which is many, many things, I'm gonna start off by talking about the negatives, the little things that I haven't liked. So there is a few design features which I think this is again for personal taste they are questionable such as the display right in front of you you don't get the full vision of it so it kind of curves around which looks good at a glance but when you're sat in the driver's seat looking through the hole in the steering wheel it cuts off the end of the dial so you see half on the left and half on the right so for instance to see the fuel gauge I have to bend around like that it's a little thing it's not a big big problem but you do definitely notice it. So as I said, this is a brand new car. You would expect everything to be perfect, right? Now the worst thing is probably this. My friend is gonna take it back to Porsche, so they're gonna have to fix that or replace something because already it's been annoying me and Porsche interiors are known for being just exquisite. And it is, don't get me wrong, everything else is near enough perfect. But to have a squeaky chair like that on your brand new, very expensive car is a little bit annoying, of course, but I'm sure it will be fixed without any problem. So the first thing that I've loved is the sheer power and just driving experience of this car, which you would expect from most Porsches. It just drives incredible, really, really does. And I mean that from the driver feedback, from the way it goes around the corner, from the seating position, which is brilliant. You're nice and low. It is a proper driving experience, this car. It's one of those cars that every day I jumped in this, I was excited to get in it. When I woke up in the morning, it was the first thing that I thought about was just that excitement that this was parked outside my apartment and that's when you know you have the right car. I'm not saying it's the best car I've ever driven. I would much prefer a GT2 RS being outside, but it is just extremely good. And of course, you can use it as a daily. Extremely comfortable car. You can drive it to work, go shopping. I've done everything in this and it's just been near enough perfect. It's definitely one of the most comfortable sports cars that I've driven. I've been in this all day long and I feel like I could carry on all night. What do you all think of the sound? Now, it's actually grown on me. It's not what I would call maybe a proper Porsche sound, but it's hugely grown on me. Not only that, but the sound from this car does have a, a whiff of GT2 RS. There is that slight GT2 sound, especially on the low down revs when it's just burbling. It really sounds great. And if you like all of the turbo sounds like, like that, then of course you're gonna love it. I'm still a naturally aspirated fan, but this has also been great, a whole nother experience. I've just this moment realized that I haven't yet talked about the gear selector lever, which I know was a big subject when this car was launched. So yes, it is very small compared to the previous one. And on first feeling, I still do prefer my one in my car. I have the Porsche Cayman GTS, the 981, if you don't know. So I have the big lever in mine where I can slap it to the left to go in manual and I can also change gear with the lever which is very handy because the paddles are on the steering wheel if you do need to change gear mid corner it is obviously quite tricky however the thing is I completely forgot to mention it before which actually goes to show 
that it didn't really bother me. And now thinking about it, I don't really mind it. If I had the choice, yes, I would take the older one. But at the moment, it's not bothering me. Many people have also described it looking like an electronic razor, which to be honest, it does a bit. But like a lot of things on new cars, we all tend to freak out a little bit with change. And after the week, to be honest, I have got used to it. Love the onboard computer system. It just works brilliant from the inside to the outside. It really is just a beautiful car that has the performance to match. I've got so used to this car so quickly. I really am going to struggle to give it back. I've spent the whole day now blasting up and down this pass. And I just really feel like I could carry on the whole evening left foot on the brake flat down hold to 4000 off the brake and thrown back in the seat it's so quick Porsche launch control is utter madness 